Hi guys, today I'm reviewing Brazilian True Tan. I gave this 1.5 out of 5 stars, so in my opinion it's not a really good product. Um, I got it on their website for $19.50 and it comes in a 6 ounce bottle. That works out to about $3.25 an ounce, which is a little less than average. The price isn't bad at all. Um, this comes out, it's, so it comes out with a dual applicator. When you squeeze it, half of it is the white self tanner and half of it is a dark brown bronzer. However, I found that the dual applicator didn't work very well, so it came out very unevenly. Most of what was coming out was the white self tanner and there was like none of the brown bronzer coming out. So it ended up being like a murky white creamish green looking lotion. It looked really weird. I wouldn't say it had a guide exactly because you couldn't really see the brown when it was going on your skin because there wasn't a lot of bronzer at all. Um, it's like a light lotion and it smells really bad. Not to be mean, but it smells like straight DHA. Um, you kind of know how old school self tanner smelled when it was just DHA and they didn't use fragrance to cover it up. That's how this one smells. Um, putting it on is pretty easy. I didn't even use a mitt because of the white, the murky white color. I didn't feel like it would stain and it didn't. Um, so you don't really need a mitt. It goes on like your normal lotion would. The drying time, oh my gosh, it never dried. So it felt really wet going on. Um, not really sticky, but very wet. Like I was sweating all over. It was really gross. Um, and it never dried overnight. So when I woke up in the middle of the night, I still felt wet. And even the next morning, I still felt wet. The good news is you don't really need to worry about a dark guide staining anything, but um, it just, oh, I hated that feeling. It never dried. I couldn't wait to wash it off in the morning. Um, the color it produced was like a light tan. It wasn't dark enough for my liking. They said you can apply this one a few days in a row in order to darken your tan. I just didn't want to because I didn't like the product at all. I didn't like how it, feel, it felt, and my light tan was very scaly. So this product has like um, AHA and glycolic in it, so it's supposed to exfoliate while it self tans you, but I think it really just dried my skin out. Also, I prefer exfoliating before, um, before I self tan, not while I'm doing it, because to me that kind of just defeats the purpose. Um, it lasted about three days, and as it faded, it got pretty scaly. Um, it didn't look very nice. Men, I don't think you'll really like this one. The color is very light, and the product dried my skin out, and it just never dried. Um, I just really wasn't a fan of it. So overall, I gave it 1.5 out of 5 stars, and for more information on this self-tanner as well as many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.